Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Before continuing on and trying to uh, restart the server to help Sykes out and get access to the locked loot crates, or whatever you want to call them, uh, let's try our hands at the chain attack mode again. So just looking at the rules again and just thinking back to how I played it before, it looks like I really, really want to go for combos, large combos, because it seems that only when you get a high combo, do you get the chance of fight of getting an hourglass to shoot, which increases your time? Like it says, it appears when you get a high combo, shoot to gain time. So I really want to go for the high combos. Otherwise, it's just going to end. So I've gotten the first two. Let's see if we can get up to 60,000. Or higher. I got the next one. Still got it. Yeah, 150 weapon parts. Nice. Four hundred and twenty-five. We can get some really good stuff. Alright, I haven't given much love to the warden crossbow lately. So let's see. Shockbolt. Chains to more enemies over a greater distance. So it seems like recently crowd control is my biggest problem. So I think that's why I want to go for the shock bolt, because that helps me with crowd control. I think I can afford both of these. Yeah, so let's upgrade our shock bolt twice to get more crowd control. Oh, what's this? Do more damage. I didn't know they did any damage at all. I thought they just stunned him. I desperately need to make ammo. Don't have much gunpowder though. Let's make a med kit. Couple of shock bolts. Explosive. And then... I don't know. I guess shotgun shells? Alright, we've also got like 12,000 goo. Let's start to work our way towards the bullet cascade. So I'll get firing stance too. And I'll get this. So now I've got to save up to 20,000. We also have a locker key to use. 40 gunpowder. At this moment, that's actually super helpful. Let's go make some more ammo.
Uh oh. I was just going to leave Sykes' safe house and just heard that noise. I was going to head over to the other safe house before bringing you back, because I need to head over to that one to enter the marrow to do that quest. But it seems we have something out here. I haven't been back here yet, have I? No, that's an explore territory, so I'm just gonna walk away from there. At least the fire is done raging. What was that noise? Maybe it was one of the hands coming down. Or feet, or whatever those are. Alright, let's head in. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. So I gotta go back out this way, right? It's up there. I wonder if I'm gonna encounter that milk monster again. This is where the milk monster was. Is all the goo gone though? Seems to be. Right up here to the right. Seems like that worked. Beautiful. Guess I should go back to Sykes. Ooh. Something's here. Eight handgun bullets. Yes, yeah, so I think these locked ones have really good good amounts of supplies. Why did I do that? It's alright, it worked out. Stuck behind the door. Gotta be more careful with these things.
But yeah, I've already been there, so... I don't think this quest unlocked any new areas, just a new function to go back to this old area and do this thing. Because I've definitely been in there. I'm sure my journey back is going to be eventful. Me, Sebastian, that was on purpose. That was a result, that odd move was a result of me getting the red thing, the uh, predator ability, and I pressed space, and that's what Sebastian did when I pressed space. My nemesis. take cover behind these boxes so I can't do that sneak attack. Yeah, I think I might have just found out why... Well, one of the reasons... Actually, two of the reasons why that Predator ability seemed a little funky. One is that it's a little bit funky on recognizing when you're aiming at the person. It's not as kind of forgiving as the ambush ability. Or as long as you're kind of like this and the enemy is roughly in the center of the screen, it'll pop up. This one seems more particular about the aiming. So I generally have to aim up more than I normally do to get that red thing to pop up. 
And the other thing is that I do believe the tutorial prompt on how to use it lied once again, not just in the fact that it says E to do the sneak kill when it is still F, but... Where is it? Predator. Hmm. Well, it doesn't so much lie as it's just very poorly worded. It says press space to begin sprinting towards them. And then up here it says space to start slash stop attack when the red icon is displayed. The thing about that is you have to hold down space. So if you want to keep running towards them, then you hold down space. And if you want to stop running towards them, you release space. The way it was worded made it sound like it was a toggle. Like you press space and then Sebastian just starts running towards them. And if you press it again, it stops. So I don't know, poorly worded. But I got it now. Not too bad. Downright easy compared to how good the rewards are going to be, I think. There's two more previously locked chests that I know of that we should now be able to get. One should be on top of here. Ten handgun bullets. And the other one should be with Sykes. Silenced handgun? The semi-automatic pistol has been equipped with a sound suppressor which reduces gunfire noise but also reduces damage. If to use carefully, single enemies can be lured away from groups. Hmm, reduces damage. Never mind, that actually doesn't sound good. If I'm going to lure them away from the group, then I'm just going to sneak kill them. So I don't see that much point in that. Oh, and this answers something I'd been wondering. I just drank the other coffee in the other safe house, and this one is ready to drink, which means that they aren't on a shared timer. You can go to a different safe house and drink the coffee. The server is online. Yeah, I'm already in. I unlocked the supply containers just like I promised. See if you can open that one there. <laughs> Already did. Okay, let's explore some more of this place. So, we got one of those creepers back here. I think I hear another one. Oh shit. Oh, I hate it. Well, I could hide behind this thing, so... Well, actually, I could just hide here. I'm just trying to lure her out.
Hello, Sebastian. Where did you go? Excuse me. Drop an ammo pouch. Um, okay, whew, thought I was stuck for a sec. <laughs> oh, there's lots of little, like, back alleys. Gotta explore this place well. I can go further back here. Oh, this actually isn't going back. This is going forwards. Yeah, there's a little bit more over here I didn't explore. That's about it, aside from the theater. So let's go check out the south. Well, I think we've been here, but let's check out this area. Yeah, we came from over there and then we heard the screaming and just ran here. So I haven't explored this side of the street over here at all. Hmm? triggering the horn. Oh, we already went in there. Yep. So let's go down the street.
There's another axe around here. Ah. I bet I can't go this way. Ah, dang it. I was hoping for secrets. So what the heck was setting off the alarm? Or the horn, rather. I don't see anything in either of those cars. Sebastian. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Gotta get out of here. All I wanted was to find the APC and get the hell out of here. Help! Can anybody hear me? Oh god. I'm gonna die in STEM. It'll be like I never existed at all. Sorry, Lawson. Looks like I won't be back to pick you up with the APC after all. Okay, perfectly normal. I feel like one of those gigantic cobbled together enemies is going to pop up in this alleyway or something. Assuming that's the case... I think I want to reassign these. Let's put the sniper on four. Yeah, and the bottle can be on five. What do you bet? Yep, fucking knew it! 
Oh, this is a bad place to be, huh? Things take up so much ammunition. It's alright, we got this. I think I'm gonna have to use my sniper rifle. Oh, this is from before I reassigned it. almost got the 20,000 for the, um, whatever it was called. I don't remember what it was called. The thing that gives you more damage as you shoot more. Be good for a boss like that. Okay. Let's head to that supply room. Hopefully it's got lots of ammunition. That's this right here. Oh, never mind. It's actually this building right here. That's the gas station. Wait, that's not a gas station, that's a diner. What could this be? I feel like this is gonna be a new weapon. Is that a new type of shotgun, or just a shotgun? <gasps> this medium-range pump-action shotgun has a long barrel, giving it a longer range to do damage. Yeah, that's more like it. That sounds beautiful. What? No. <laughs> no. Well, at least let me get my beautiful thing assigned. I mean, I don't see any situation where I wouldn't want the more accurate one, right? Whoops. So I'm just gonna assign that to number two. I just use it. That's my shotgun now. Great weapon parts.
It's going to come in the door, isn't it? I mean, there's no other way out. I think I just have to wait for it to come. Yep. It can probably see me, huh? I mean... Uh-huh. We're fine. So, is there anywhere left to explore? It's a bit dark here. I don't know if I explored that. Let me go check it out. Okay, so this is unexplored. I thought I'd been here, but I found a herb back there at that tree, and then I realized there's an entire hotel that I can go inside of. That I've never been in. <laughs> Cozy. Look at these, if only I can get the power up and going. Three coffee makers, four cups. There was another house that had a piece of art like that at the end of a hallway. Or another place, even if it wasn't a house. I got a feeling we're gonna have to come back here for the main quest. Because aren't we supposed to mess with the person's art to piss him off? Throw them off balance? Alright, that's officially everything. Let's head to the theater. Go take a look. And yeah, it looks like these two paintings I see on the front are the ones that I've seen around this place. What the hell are these things about? Damn it. Lily's inside there. First one is in here. So this is his art? It's just a photo.
I'm gonna stab the shit out of you. Oh no, it's not gonna be a boss, is it? Shit. Locked. Gotta find a key or something. Even with 200% damage with the Brawler ability, it still will not kill her in one hit. crap. Oh, right, I had an axe again. <laughs> For a second I thought I did that with my knife. I'm like, wow. 
Yeah, I'm not- I'm really not getting much use out of the predator ability. I tried it there and it didn't really work out. Feeling this is a boss encounter. Oh, shit. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> this is really cool. Well, I, I can't jump, so uh, I have no way over anything. I can go under, but I can't go over. Destroying these things. Here we go. <sighs> Destroying that freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done yet. One more. As if the violence against women wasn't already enough, you get to actually destroy the woman's corpse, too. Let's finish this. Oh, fuck. That was that obscure boss. Let me get my shocker ready. Oh, I don't have a shocker. Well, maybe smoke will do. Can hide. Oh, there's a key. All right. This should get me close to that art. Shit. Maybe I can sneak by it. What have we got in store for this one? Oh, the same thing? I mean, it was cool the first time.
That's both of them. Should have done the trick. Better head back to the theater and see if I can get in. All right, well, on that note, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to actually enter the theater. You deserve a round of applause for that. I'm sure there's someone out there that will provide that for you. Well, look at that. If I only got a little bit more, I would have gotten the very final tier. Just 1,000 more. But I got a locker key and 5,000 green gel. Nice. Anyway, for real, hope you enjoyed so far, and I'll see you on the next episode.